What is up, fishing addicts? On today's video, we will be tying some swim jigs. Uh, this one is actually going to a good friend of mine, and my boy Dennis is picking a little sneak peek over here. Uh, so we're gonna go with the shad pattern. Uh, let me just get get some thread in. So I've been wanting to do this for a very, very long time. Um, ever since I started fishing for uh, salmon, I, I want to tie my own hair jigs. But uh, after a while, I decided salmon fishing is not for me. So, and uh, I continue on my bass adventures. But then later on, I became more and more acquainted with uh, jigs, uh, especially swim jigs and how versatile they are. So uh, I want to, I, I started doing my own. And uh, so we're going to be using one tab of this, uh, I don't know what kind of pattern is it, but uh, it's a uh, silver and uh, with black and it has a little green uh, tint to it and on the on the belly uh, we are going to use white with uh, uh, silver uh, glitter and uh, I want to I want to add some flash to it I made a, a jig uh, early late um, late summer and I added some flash to it, and it was real, real nice, and I really enjoyed it, enjoy making it. And uh, so we are going to add some flash. Uh, but also, I wanna, I bought, uh, I bought these over Amazon, and uh, you know, we're gonna also add some uh, shark truce to it, almost, almost like a sexy shad. Yeah, exactly. Sexy shad. So I, I don't want to add too much. We're going to add this on top. Yes, only on top. Uh, very few strings. <coughs> I was eating popcorn and I have one stuck in my throat now. the kernels or whatever they're called. So, I don't wanna put too much. So this should be, should be good enough. Let's see. And, so, the flash will be a little bit longer than the skirt. So at the end, we're just going to trim it out. And uh, I'm doing it umbrella style. Um, I learned that re most recently. Uh, I forgot the YouTube channel's name. I'll look it up in a second. Uh, this guy was uh, tying it pretty dope. And I really... Enjoy the umbrella style. Uh, so, just gonna. Or let's do like this. And then now. Uh, which box, Dennis? This is when I did it off camera, it was a lot easier to do, to be honest. Okay, 
Bye, Dennis. Bye. Okay. So, just Bye. like this. I love the way it flares out when you tie it like this. So, we're just gonna go slowly okay so this is just on top and then uh we're gonna add our uh silver with black dots and uh green flash i guess so when you're doing an umbrella You just uh, fold it and uh, always on bait fish or all the fish, the, the top is always the darkest. So we're going to put this just like that and then go twice. over it and then I'm, I'm gonna bring it up and make sure it's only on top So we're gonna grab one of these hair clips to hold the skirt and uh, slightly cinch it down. So I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe not there. Okay, it's uh, pretty much only on top. And now we're gonna add a little bit of green. Uh, this is a fresh pack. I haven't even opened these, so Ooh, I see how it is. Some fancy. sticking to the glue so this is uh, chartreuse and kind of has a little bit of violent violet I don't know if you guys can see it from that light but uh, has some uh, green chartreuse violet to it so it's, it's pretty cool and uh, we're just gonna take about 15 get this one so I pretty much try to get it in the middle make a little loop And then uh, half of it we're gonna leave on the side and the other half we're gonna do the same thing um, what we did earlier so but this time instead of putting it on top we're gonna put it on the side which I'm pretty sure I'm going to need this to keep it from flaring from the skirt to be flaring let's see yeah this should work 
So grab our strands. Put it over here. Right there. So all I have to do is uh, grab the hair clip and I love it how it flares up when you tie it like this. It's so much, so much more vibrant. Uh, you'll see, you'll see it and how it looks. It's I'm not that uh, keyed into this, so it does take me more than more than uh, what other people can do it. So it's few just to get get it cinched. Ooh. And then again, put it like this. Trying to grab all of them. There you go. You just hold it. There you go. Gotcha. And just go over it a little bit. I don't want to go too much. And now what I do is I just flip the jig. And now we're going to do the bottom. So the bottom um, is just a white tab with silver, white tab with silver glitter. It doesn't come out that much on the camera, I believe. But uh, you guys can see this almost black dots. Do the same thing. Uh, fold it and then see if I can fix this there we go well, some of it that was above I haven't uh, really pegged it, but uh, we will in a second. Come on, there you go. I need to get like. over it three times so it holds it adjust it a little bit and then grab my hair clip now I want to adjust the adjust the bottom Now oh, that looks good and just put it down sometimes I like to use two so it doesn't flare out so this is good tug it a little bit go over it and now you, I just finish it off and 
make sure it's nice and covered. And I had a wood tool. I have no idea what happened to it. So I have to finish it with uh, by hand. There we go. It's nice and cinched in. And uh, curiosity kicked on on a three-year-old to see what dad is doing. He likes to play with hooks. Right, Dennis? Yeah. Of course. So we'll just cut this. And now... It's perfect. Thank you, Dennis. But quiet, okay? Okay. I mustn't talk to say I mustn't. Okay, Dennis. Yes, yes. And then... Uh, I just add the head cement. Uh, this is from Loon Outdoors. I haven't tried uh. so many things. I just um, YouTube what people use. And uh, this was the most recommended. So I would just wait about uh, 20 minutes or so for it to uh, cure or uh, once it starts drying up uh, we'll let it go but at the meantime bring out the garbage can all right so I got the garbage can underneath me when I cut this so it goes straight where it's supposed to So this part is where the trailer will go. So I try to I try to clean it up as much as possible so it doesn't interfere. Trim it up a little bit nice. And I cut a strand. Not a big deal. And now since this is still drying, but uh I wanna, I really wanna see this. So I just go with the scissors and just cut it. And uh, the flash, all I do is straight cut it. You just have to use better scissors than these. So make sure all the strands are cut. Run my scissors through. Yes, uh, I just noticed that the uh, ending of the video cut off for some reason, but uh, either way, um, the jig turned out great. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't show you because uh, I sent out the jigs this morning um, to the guy that purchased them. Uh, however, I was just tying another one uh, similar to it uh, without the uh, chartreuse line. Um, maybe in a couple of days, I'll make another one. Maybe I'll go live uh, tying them. But uh, this is uh, how they look. Um, just imagine it with the chartreuse line. You have the nice uh, uh, flashy top. It actually, I, the camera doesn't do it justice how it looks in real life. Um, but uh, it's pretty flashy. It has that ni nice little flash to it. And uh, the other one uh, had the chartreuse uh, uh, flasher on the sides, just like a sexy shot. Um, this one doesn't have a, a weed guard. Uh, this one was made uh, with uh, 
on our deep throat hook, which I love these uh, on our uh, on our hooks. Uh, most of my jigs that I make, unless it's a request with another hook, uh, they come with owner. So um, if you want to purchase uh, these jigs, you can uh, DM me on Instagram at Attitude Lure or uh, send me a DM on social media on any of my accounts and uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get it worked out. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think it's a, it's a nice lure? And uh, what do you think? More should we add more flash to it, or this is uh, flashy enough? Let me see. Let me turn on the lights in this. Let's see if that's gonna make a difference. Yeah, just a little bit. I don't know why the lights don't show that well, but uh, pretty nice jig. Uh, this one is. 3.8. So that's it, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next.